Hello, friends. It's time to officially unveil the new major update 1.97, Viking Fury. The first update of 2020. As we promised, it brings the Swedish ground tech tree into the fray, which includes a number of fairly unorthodox combat vehicles. On top of that, there's new aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships for other nations, along with a bunch of additional visual effects. Or how about an airborne interception radar that's capable of seeing ground vehicles? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please welcome one of the most anticipated British fighters, the Lightning by English Electric. The Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet engines allow the plane to exceed Mach 2 speed. The armament is represented by two Aden 30mm cannons and air-to-air -air rockets. This is an MBT based on the licensed Leopard 2A5, which was significantly upgraded by Swedish engineers. Its modular composite armor substantially increased the machine's survival on the battlefield. The 120mm smoothbore gun is stabilized in two planes, which is just dandy. Especially when you fire some fine European APFSDS rounds out of it. British naval tech tree got a huge reinforcement. The HMS London. Four main caliber turrets, located at the bow and the stern, house a total of eight 203mm cannons. Apart from that, there are eight auxiliary guns, 20 40mm AA cannons, the 20mm Orly guns, and two torpedo launchers. The famous Apache American helicopter boasts a 30mm cannon, the Hellfire ATGMs and, most importantly, a state-of-the-art radar, which allows for locating and locking on to both airborne and ground-based targets. The Saab 35 Draken is a Swedish supersonic fighter, succeeding the earlier jets. You can easily recognize it by its double swept-back wing, which smoothly transmissions into the fuselage. This fighter is armed with two 30mm Akan cannons in addition to suspended armaments, two types of unguided rockets and up to four RB-24 guided air-to-air -air missiles. But, of course, that's not everything that's been added to the game right at the end of winter. The Chinese ground tech tree continues with the ZTZ-96A, a new MBT with an all-welded turret in an enhanced wedge shape. Soviet tankers can get their hands on the new T-72B with a night vision scope contact reactive armor, and a reinforced frontal armor plate. Lastly, the Luftwaffe forces now have access to the Junkers 188A2, a modification of the famous tactical bomber outfitted with a more powerful engine and enhanced defensive armaments. As usual, you can find the full list of changes in Update 1.97 on the official War Thunder website. Actually, hang on for a sec, we're not done yet. We continue improving the game's graphics engine, and this time we have something special for you. Updated fire visual effects. They're also accessible even to the players who don't have top-of-the-line graphics cards. Here, feast your eyes upon this beautiful fire in the enemy's combat compartment. Of course, our YouTube channel will also get ablaze with new videos in the next few weeks. We'll be reviewing all of the hottest new machines, talking about new gameplay mechanics in combat situations, and testing some peculiar ammunition. Come on, hit the subscribe button to make sure you won't miss it. Like, and then share your thoughts in the comments below, and stay tuned! See you soon!